Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying to get it where it looks like I'm looking at you. Not that you're crazy about looking at me with my wrapped out skin. I better not let that bottle roll off in the floor over there. It uh, topples over easy. It's got a rounded edge on the bottom. I don't like it when things topple over easy. Get this out of the way. I'm going to set it down right over here. There, there it is. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. Well, it got dark a little while ago. Uh, I'm going to say about 30 minutes ago, I guess. Yeah, I, there was still some daylight, a little bit. Dusk, it was getting towards dusk when I started getting ready for bed. And it took me a while to get everything just right so I can come in here and get settled down in the bed. I had to think about, did I need some more drinking waters? Did I have snack material in my room? <laughs> oh, God. My husband today, he, uh, he took one of them big blue swimming pools. They're, they're plastic, and you can stand them up against the wall in your garage or something like that, you know. Plastic size for toddlers. Well, my hubby got him one from Walmart. He brought it home. He put it under the, the fruitless mulberry tree there near the kitchen windows and he filled it up and got in it. He laid around in that and enjoyed it for quite a long time today actually. He enjoyed it. But it is so hot, oh my gosh. 105 degrees. And it was so hot even, even standing in the shade out there. I had to get, keep coming back in and getting near the wind unit air conditioner. Oh. Oh, God help us. I'm terrified of things that are to come when I pray. Lord Jesus, that those that none of those things will touch me, and that He'll take me home to heaven. I pray that in Jesus' holy name, Amen. say the George Orwell 
scenario is soon going to take place here in America and everywhere in the world. Gee, I wonder what that could be. We, uh, That's what it could be. And I'm, I don't want no part of it. I don't want no part of it at all. I don't want to be here. finally did do a little bit of a crocheting on that scarf today. It helped to calm me some too. While I'm crocheting, I'm having to concentrate quite a bit on what I'm doing. So, uh, you know, and that helps, you know. And I, you know, soothes your mind somehow. <laughs> Maybe it hypnotizes you, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> I hope not. I need some more tones. Boy, these things taste so good. I wish they would uh, make candy that tastes just like these, but didn't have the antacid ingredients in it, you know, just a candy. Mmm, that'd be good. Mmm, mmm. Reminds me of some kind of candy we had back in the 1960s. It seems like my brain is getting close to it. But it may take me a while to draw it up into the front of my brain. <laughs> Lord says to be of good cheer and to think on good things and keep looking up for your redemption draweth nigh. That's what the Lord says. So that's what I'm going to do. Because there ain't nothing else you can do. Not a darn thing. This was uh, after who we had left. This was 
you know, just a few short years after she had left it. Now, but you know, as I think back and remember, I'm puzzled pieces of her life back in New Mexico. I remember my dad saying, I tried, I tried. And he was saying it from his heart. Poor dad. That was a moment of his grief. Missing mom. tries to be a good dad. And he says, I try, I try. All we can do is what we can do at the time. At different times in our lives, we might do something different. We don't know. But God does. Stack on, and it wasn't the tums. <laughs> I miss my dad. I remember him in his younger years, and he always wore a black felt cowboy hat and black boots, cowboy boots, solid black. He was proud of that hat and them boots. <laughs> and when he wasn't working, sometimes he'd put on his beautiful uh, western shirts with his 501 jeans and his black cowboy boots, his black cowboy hat. <laughs> and we might go to a diner somewhere or some little place. We need some, some fairly quick to eat. And Dad was impatient. He wouldn't give me time to eat my stuff because it was always hot. I couldn't eat it hot, it would burn. I had to wait a long time for that stuff to cool off. It was always scald and hot. If they'd take them, them uh, meat patties right straight out of, off the hot sizzling grill and put it right straight on your hamburger, slap the cheese and the bread stuff on it and and some a dose of french fries and have the waitress haul it to your table. It would all be scalding hot. So there was no way I could eat, but, and Dad always ate kind of fast. And he didn't want to wait on me. And he just kept saying, hurry up, hurry up. I can't, Dad, it's hot. So 
Uh, that happened a lot. <laughs> Many times. Spaced out, you know. I mean, we didn't, we didn't get to, to eat anywhere. Uh, us kids hardly ever. It was extremely rare. We ever got took to a hamburger joint or anything. It was an extremely rare treat when we did. It wasn't like nowadays would kids get to eat out every day, <clears throat> fast food every day. I mean, I don't blame anybody for doing that, you know. Some of it's pretty darn yummy. Yep. <laughs> you know, I, I always liked eating in a, a big lunchroom style restaurant like a Lumi's Cafeteria. They shut down decades ago. But I would go there once in a while with a friend. <clears throat> and they had all kinds of good, yummy food to choose from. All kinds. It was hard to pick out just enough to, to, to keep on your plate. Yeah, it's just slopping over in the floor from your plate. <laughs> and those plates are always small in those places. Well, nowadays they're a lot smaller than they used to be. Yeah, they used to give yeah, yeah, decent sized plates. And now they're small. Now they're saucer size. That's not fair, it's not right. There's supposed to be such and such amount of money for a plate. A plate is bigger than a saucer. And a platter is bigger than <laughs> and trays come in all kind of sizes. Edgar, where are you going, Edgar? Just come back in here in a little while, because I'll miss you. She's probably hearing her daddy in there. And she wonder what's going on. Get a gar? Bless her heart, there she goes. She made her decision. She really wanted to go in there and see what what daddy was doing in there. <laughs> Paul has been trying to <clears throat> keep himself on the diet. It, but he's been doing all right. It's, it's, it's not a real strict diet, but it's, you know, do the best you can diet. Yeah, he's been doing good most of the time. Bless his heart. I pray God protect him and bless his health at all times and everywhere. From now on, through forever, in Jesus' name, amen. Massage on my hands. Yeah. 
it feels good to massage them like this, you know, rubbing and massaging them. And wherever it hurts is where the arthritis is. When it's a certain kind of a hurt, you know what it is. And it's good to keep trying to stretch your fingers. Stretch them. Stretch your fingers. Gar, what's think about it, good gar? She went and got herself a drink of water, I bet you that's what she did. Because Mama got her a fresh pan of water and put some ice cubes in it. So she got some cool water. Get a car. She's just a baby. So thank God for this dog. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you so much in Jesus' name for letting us have this dog. Thank you so much, oh God, I ask you to bless her and keep her safe from any and all kinds of harm. And take her to heaven with us, oh God, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Does it seem like something just occurred to me? Does it seem like y'all, to any of y'all, that uh, I'm going to have to remember it before I can finish the sentence. <laughs> Ain't that awful? Oh, God. It was a real good question, too. A, a genius, kind of a genius question, sort of. faces were so cute and, and imaginative it's another word for it, imaginative how somebody some there, there were some people who were able to draw that to sketch it out freehand <laughs> Why not if you can? <laughs> it seems like forever ago when I was 13 years young. 13 years young and dumber than a box of rocks. It's a miracle of God. That something didn't happen to me in my through my throughout my teenage years, preteen. I mean, right, you know, right at uh, puberty, the beginning of puberty, like from then on, something weird. Had something weird happen to my mind. Talk to people. 
the videos because they have nobody else to talk to. That's, that's about it right there. <laughs> It is what it is. Joe, I'm going to turn this off now and eat a chocolate fudge cake. Yum, yum, yum. And I will see y'all and talk to y'all. Another time, if the Lord's willing and the creeks don't rise. There we go. Here we go. My finger's coming down to the button. Here we go. Here we go.